am Michelle with two L's. And I'm Natalie the Red. And we are Force of Light Entertainment. And we're here to give you our reactions to watch with you today the uh, the second, and I'm, I'm guessing final trailer for the upcoming Disney Plus Star Wars show Andor. Uh, I reviewed or I did. I reacted to the first one by myself. I think you were busy, Natalie, when we got just kind of a That's teaser, right. yeah, uh, teaser for it. And the first trailer, uh, I'm I'm going to keep it real. As far as Andor the character, it's not like oh wow, an Andor show. But, yeah, I'm but <laughs> yeah, but the people working on the show and writing on the show are very talented, and that first teaser. Uh, definitely seemed like they got more money put into the show than some previous shows. And we've kind of been promised kind of a spy type of thriller type show, I think, in Star Wars, which that sounds cool to me. So that alone does interest me. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on the, the first one. But but let's take a look at the second one to see if does it get me more excited or is it maybe cool me off on, on where I am with with Andor. So let's let's, ch let's check the temperature on this one. Let's read the temperature on this trailer for sure. Uh let, let, let's watch this. This is very pretty. There there's already much more a rogue one more serious feel to me. Yeah, yeah. To steal from the Empire? To just walk in like you belong? They're so proud of themselves. That they so are. So fat and satisfied. They what the government does. Not someone like me would ever get inside their house. Cassian Ander. The Empire is choking us so slowly. We're starting not to notice. What I'm asking is this. Wouldn't you rather give it all to something real? September 21st. I need all the heroes I can get. For the greater good. Call it what you will. Let's call it. Oh, Saul. War. Well, the scar star, uh, I didn't know who was fermenting. Yeah, the, the dad, he's really good. Pockets he is actually fermenting. He is. You're in my net. Are you a fish? Or are you a thief? You're slipping. <laughs> I'm not slipping. I've just been hiding for too long. As long as everyone thinks I'm in irritation, there's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. What are you really doing? This is what revolution looks like. I'm tired of losing. Three episode premiere. Oh, I don't think cool. they've. I don't think they've done that yet. Okay. Um. Wow. Yeah. Like I. I'm interested. Well, like, I think I'm yeah. actually kind of excited to watch that. Well, it looks like a spy thriller. Yeah. And, and I love a good spy thriller. And like you said, you can tell from the music just from the tone of it. Unless unless they really uh yeah trick us really trick us. <laughs> it does seem I like that it has a little more serious dramatic tone. This feels more serious and more adult than uh like the stakes are a little higher than the Mandalorian even, which I yeah. love. I really enjoy the Mandalorian, but I I need that right now from Star. Wars. Wars. I need uh I feel the last two series have been very kiddish in a way. Sometimes you want a little deeper, more serious Star Wars. Yes, and, and it, it could still be very family friendly, yeah. which I'm sure it is. It just have a little more mature uh or more mature tone or more mature almost like a, a little more appealing to adults, maybe. Yes, which the original trilogy was. Yes. There are mature themes, is what I was looking yes. for. Uh this dealing with uh, of course the Empire at, at its peak. And getting to see the beginning of the rebellion. I think, again, there's so much talent working on the show. And then you even brought up, I didn't know Skarsgård was uh, one of the lead characters. I think I, 
I remember him being mentioned, but I kind of yeah, forgot. Yeah, I think he's like he's a really good actor. He is. Um, yeah, they they've got a lot of talent, I think, in front and behind the camera, and uh, more importantly, on the script and stuff, working on this. And it definitely has that Rogue One feel, uh, which Rogue One has. I think, I think that pretty much just across the board is most people's favorite Disney era Star Wars movie. Yes, it, well, it seems to be the consensus. And again, I said this after watching the teaser, but especially after watching this trailer, they undoubtedly put more money and effort into the show than the last two we got. It it appears that way. That that looks cinematic. Right. And one of my one of my critiques of both the Book of Boba Fett and Obi Wan was I knew it was a TV show filmed in a small room. That that's how it felt. You know, the, the term comes to mind: quality over quantity. Yes. Like if you can't give us quality, just wait. You know, over just putting out stuff, but just definitely save the quality. Well, and what's good about this, if this is good, is this is 12 episodes yeah. um, and getting three episodes right out of the gate that first day. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to be covering this I, again. I'm excited. I don't have anything against the Andor character. It, it's a little weird. They pick someone that's already dead to me, but. Despite that, the premise of the show Despite seems knowing how the story is. <laughs> the premise of the show seems interesting yes, to me. Yeah. Again, a spy thriller and working on the the rebellion getting going. Like there's a lot going on. Yes. You know, and all it, these interesting looking people. Then you see that pretty brunette at the end. It's like, what is her role in this? So it, it, it's just uh yeah. Yes. And, interesting. and I believe they've kind of already let us know that even though Andor is the main character, I believe it's gonna focus, there's gonna be a lot of other character focus as well um, on different stories, on what's going, building the rebellion is what I'm at least uh my knowledge is as far as of the show. But but yeah, that's that's our thoughts, guys. I think it looks good. Again, I think this one, I know they filmed this in in London and on location, different places, and it nice. just it tells. And yeah. you just can't beat practical effects. You just really can't. Totally um, agree. So it looks good. I'm I'm excited to check the show out. Uh what are you guys thinking? Uh, are you guys uh, going to check this out? Or are you kind of worn out on Disney Star Wars in general? We know you'll let us know <laughs> in the comments. Yes. You all aren't shy around here. You're not. And don't be shy. Uh, share your thoughts below. And if you have not yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also give the video a thumbs up. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember to, to be, be a force, force of, of light. light. All right. Bye, guys. May the force be with you. Yes. <laughs> bye.